On the bench we have a new Jasper, which we're going to put through the same testing as the Xenon in part 1. Once again we'll be starting off in a cold state. Ambient temperatures are the same for both tests. We will begin again by leaving the dashboard idle for half an hour. Ok we can see that the idle temperature is a little down compared to the Xenons. There's certainly nothing to get excited about. Now let's see how it copes with load. Once again we are using Gears of War 2 for a 30 minute period. Side by side, we can see that there is even less of a difference after load. And just like the Xenon, the temperatures start to skyrocket after shutdown. At 2 minutes 7 seconds mark, the Jasper reaches thermal peak. The Xenon takes almost a full minute more to tap out. 